first of all, I don't want to minimize the impact of what we're hearing about Xbox to Xbox players, those who have been loyal and faithful to Xbox. I don't want to minimize that. So that's first. Secondly, when Phil Spencer decided to buy Activision Blizzard, I was one of the people who was saying this is going to be a bad deal. That one, buying Activision Blizzard was going to cost too much, and that two, it was going to be considered anti-competitive, and as a result of that, Microsoft would have to give up too much to make it work. This channel actually started because I was responding to somebody else who was all in on Microsoft buying Activision and using that to call PlayStation all kinds of names. And as a result, I thought this is just not a fair way to look at this deal. I always thought that it was going to be a bad deal. And sure enough, Years later, it's not a good deal. I fully believe that the plan for Call of Duty was for Phil Spencer to make it an exclusive. Now, we haven't heard anything concrete about this. We do have some pretty good evidence suggesting that this was in fact the plan. One of those evidence is the fact that Jim Ryan specifically spoke out about the deal that Phil Spencer was trying to give Sony. And as a result, kickstarted a lawsuit. Okay, remember when Jim Ryan came out and said that the deal that Sony, uh, that Microsoft was offering them was quote, unacceptable. Now, this is key because Jim Ryan doesn't talk. In fact, Jim Ryan doesn't make any statements at all. That's one of the things that people don't like about Jim Ryan is that he just doesn't talk. Which means that when Jim Ryan does talk, it's a very big deal. And this is something that Jim Ryan spoke out against and he specifically said that Xbox was trying to offer them three years extra on top of the deal they already had with Call of Duty and he thought that this was completely unacceptable. Okay, later on we found out that apparently Xbox was going to shift their the release of their new console from, 20, uh, from 2028 to 2026. I think the plan was once the original deal with PlayStation ran out, they were going to release Call of Duty as an exclusive with a brand new console. I believe that was the plan. A lot of people were saying things like Sony lost the lawsuit. And I'm one of the people who was saying no, Sony did not lose this lawsuit. Sony got what they wanted, which is that they got Call of Duty for 10 years as a contractual agreement. At that point, I believe that Microsoft had to pivot, change their plans to become what it is now, which is that a lot of their games are going to be releasing in third party. Again, let's keep this in mind. This is not a new thing for Xbox. For those people who are thinking that where is this coming from, Xbox has been telling us this for a very long time. Satya Nadala, the CEO of Microsoft, on multiple occasions has specifically said that one, he doesn't understand the console wars and two he believes there should be no exclusives that's what's happening now Xbox had the chance to show Microsoft it could survive and compete with PlayStation with those exclusives and now it turns out that it cannot because people are not buying Xboxes how does Xbox continue to make money if they own all these IPs and how can they justify spending over 100 billion dollars to acquire developers if the games they're making don't sell, and that's what's happening right now. For Microsoft, it makes more sense to take those IPs third party and have them available on more places. Honestly, I don't think it's bad, I just think it's sad. I feel for Xbox owners who have remained ride or die for the past several years, because now they're feeling like this is not the reward that we wanted for our loyalty. Now, I know there are some people out there who are saying, no, all of this is just rumors, it's not going to happen. Here's the thing, where there is smoke, there is fire. And if the smoke is really, really big, the fire that's to come is also going to be very, very big. At this point, this rumor is everywhere. Microsoft cannot go back on this. People know that this is the plan. If they go back on this, people will not trust Xbox. It's because at this point, it becomes a matter of how much more damage can you do to the Xbox branding if you keep changing your mind. Xbox has remained very vague for quite some time. And I think the reason is, is because all of this stuff that's coming out now was getting worked out in the back.